Some time ago, Microsoft brought to Linux support for the XFAT file system. That Microsoft promise of delivering a quality Linux XFAT experience is not even close to being realized. For those that need to reliably read devices formatted to the XFAT file system on Linux, this has been an issue. Fortunately, a Samsung developer has created a new driver that promises improved performance and reliability. Let's install it so you can test it. To install XFAT Linux from PPA, open a terminal window and follow these steps. Add the necessary repository with the command sudo add apt repository ppa colon ardor 97 slash xfat dash linux. Update apt with the command sudo apt update. Install the driver with the command sudo apt get install xfat dash dkms dash y. If you opt to go the source route, here are the steps. Install git with the command sudo apt get install git dash y. Clone the code from git with the command git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash ardor97 slash xfat dash linux. Change into the newly created directory with the command cd xfat dash linux. Build the source with the command make. Install the driver with the command sudo make install. Once you've installed the xfat driver, you must load the module into the kernel with the command sudo modprobe xfat. At this point, you should now be able to mount xfat formatted partitions and drives on your Linux system with a command similar to sudo mount dash t xfat slash dev slash xxx space slash mount point, where xxx is the drive name and mount point is the directory you'd like to mount the drive into. 